Uh, we have with us uh, up here in the newsroom today Steve Newman, um, who I know is one of those uh, and characteristic of those who rescued someone yesterday and managed to take him across the river to Liberty State Park in New Jersey. Mr. Newman, are you there? Yes, I am. Um, just please, if you wouldn't mind, you look a lot fresher today than I bet you did yesterday. Uh, that's, that's for sure. Uh, just tell us what happened, and if you can insert your own story as part of the overall picture of what was happening. Sure. Well, I was in a livery cab about two blocks south of the World Trade Centers when it was clear there was a fire in one of the towers, but all everybody that was in the streets, of course, there was all, uh, all the traffic had been stopped. Nobody really understood what was going on other than that there was a fire. Um, it was, you know, shortly thereafter that the plane flew above and everyone heard it and saw it go right into the South Tower, where pretty much a lot of fear and terror um, started overcoming and seas of people started flowing south down West Street. Uh, that's the point that I got out of, a, out of the car and headed over towards the water, heading west. And um, as I was doing that and got to the west side of the street, I saw an individual coming down that was clearly, uh, he was completely burned from head to toe and all of his skin had come off his forearms and his face and his hair was all gone and uh, looked a little disoriented. So he was, seemed to be on his cell phone, either talking to somebody or trying to reach somebody. And um, I asked him what happened. He, uh, what was amazing about his story was that he was in the lobby of World Trade Center One when the plane, the first plane hit. And when the debris started coming down, he went back to go into the building to protect himself and was in the revolving doors mm. going back in off West Street when he looked up and a fireball came flying out, I guess from the elevator shafts, he, that's what he seemed to believe, and blew out all the windows and threw him back onto the street and obviously, you know, in a fire flash, seared all his skin. But apparently nothing, uh, you know, all his clothes, none mm. of his clothes were burned. Um, so that was pretty amazing and he was shaking and it was clear that he needed to get to a hospital and realizing what was going on I said the only way you're getting to a hospital is to get over to the other side of that river.